There's still a blue cross on the state patrol building here in Fond du Lac, and investigators say before the bank robber ambushed the state trooper, he murdered Thomas Christ, then headed to Fond du Lac. That's where he got into a gun battle with Trooper Trevor Casper. A young man, 21 years old, put the community above himself to save the lives of others. Fond du Lac County District Attorney Eric Tony said Trooper Casper was ambushed by bank robber Stephen Snyder with armor piercing bullets. He was mortally wounded but returned a dozen shots. And while only one of the trooper's bullets found their mark, it was a shot through the bank robber's heart. Trooper Casper was struck by a bullet in his back that penetrated his ballistic vest, continued through a lung, and was located in the front portion of his ballistic vest. Trooper Captain Anthony Burrell helped carry Trooper Casper from the shooting. The positive out of it is uh, that uh, Trevor, uh, we, we remember and, and recognize him as a hero here today. Only 17 seconds went by from the time the ambush started until the gun battle ended. The suspect fired at Trooper Casper a total of nine times. The suspect was sending text messages to his girlfriend and family up to two minutes before he opened fire on Trooper Casper. In those last messages, he suggested he would be caught or killed. It's been hard for us all, um, but uh, the time has slowly healing that wound. Um, I don't think we'll ever, ever uh, get over it, but uh, we will certainly come to grips with it. The DA's report indicates FBI agents in Michigan, where the bank robber lived, were not cooperating with FBI agents in Wisconsin and had information that could have helped the state patrol locate the suspect sooner. In Fond du Lac, Terry Seder, WISN 12 News.